Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ4 Re, and we're going to be trying out a new game called If Sunsets. If Sunsets is an adventure RPG slash survival game. During the daytime, get supplies for the survival all over the island. At night, you will encounter a strong and dreadful monsters tracking you down. And I copied and pasted that straight from the Steam page. So uh, one of the things you're going to notice about this game right off the bat is the translation. Uh, they're going to have to work on the translation for sure. Uh, this is a demo. It is on Steam. And uh, let's get started with a new game. I did play for a little while just to get my feet wet and kind of get a feel for the game. And um, go right here. My nickname will be Cage848. So we've got available points here. You could do strength, which affects the base damage and carry weight, agility, critical damage, and base armor. Stamina affects the stock of maximum health and health regeneration. Intelligence affects the base damage to ore veins and trees when gathering and affects a chance for critical strike damage. So I think we're gonna go one strength and one agility. I think that seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and start the game. Welcome new resident. Oh, you are the new resident of this island. Welcome to this beautiful island. Now, again, the translation is gonna be a problem. I'm not a good reader either. So this is gonna be, I'll do my best. I will do my best. By the time you're reading this message, I would be in, in situation not able talk to you in person because maybe I'm a goner by now. He, I don't know why he thinks that's funny, but my name is Sans Yu, um, a new recruit of the mighty battleship New Dawn that was sent to investigate this island. I will be explaining many, I will be explaining many informations of this island. So please read my journal and follow me. Ha. By the way, I apologize if I read something wrong and I'm like laughing at the translation when maybe I've read it wrong, but I'm going to do my best to, you know, not have that happen. All right. So this is pretty obvious. Top left-hand side information, bottom left-hand side information, hot bar and bottom right information. That is fine. Um, press D to T to look at your journal. Uh, make tools in the crafting menu. Yep. That's all basic stuff. Um, F is to switch your point of view. So I'm going to go like that. Take all the money. So we now have a pistol and a bunch of money. The um the first person is not really that great. So maybe I'll play in first person. We'll see. Um, I'll, I'll probably switch to third person again. All right. So we need to make a stone hatchet. First things first, we need to pick up a lot of stuff around us. So let's come over here. Now nah, I'm going to go into third person right now. Just feels better. I'm not really sure why. So we're going to pick this stuff up. That looks like uh stone. I think that's flint. And more stone. We'll just pick up a lot of stone. Uh, so the, the, the name of the game is when um, if sun sets. So basically what's going to happen is when it's nighttime, I'm screwed. <laughs> basically. All right. So we got a bunch of stone right there. We need fiber and branches. I think those were on this side. Yeah, uh, I've, I've looked at a little bit of footage on this game and, uh, you know, eh, no spoilers. But when sunset, when the sun sets, I'm in trouble, basically. Um, also, let's talk about the title of the game. If Sun... Or, sorry. If Sun Sets. Um, first of all, um, it's not a great title. And, you know, maybe maybe it could be a passable title, but you can't make it all one word. Like, just for search results alone, I think that's going to mess things up. So, I hope they decide to at least, you know, not make it all one word. I think that'll be, that'll be a good idea. Oh, wow. We got 50 already? My goodness. I didn't realize... Oh, 60? 70? 75? Something like that? It's pretty good. Go ahead and make a hatchet. By the way, if you are going to play this demo, I suggest you don't craft stuff ahead of time. I've done that. And if you craft stuff ahead of time, you just have to craft it again. So, yeah. All right. I just learned a new feature. So, you can ins yeah press E to look at stuff. Got that. A lot of this stuff is kind of basic. All right. What do you want me to do next? Let's make a campfire. Crafting. And campfire. So, we got building plans, workbenches, beds, furnace, mortar, totem, simple chest, Doors, windows. Um, ooh, backpack. That's pretty nice. All right, so I just finished the campfire. Now we have to make a bed. So let's come on in here and let's see if we can make a bed. No, we're going to need cloth. All right, so in order to make cloth, you basically just um, use fiber. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're just going to make a bed. What time is it? It's 11.23. Oh, goodness. Oh my goodness. By the way, be careful drinking out of water sources. I drank from a, a little pond. It wasn't, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the ocean. 
it was a little pond and um it started hurting me took away my hit points so it wasn't like a lot but you know still it was something um, oh we need some branches okay so in order to get branches what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this down here number two spot and we're gonna cut down some trees whoops let's see how this looks like in first person that's no, not so bad i don't know it's weird the game oh i know what the game's doing so I'm, I'm i'm thinking that it's kind of weird because the game has like a little bit of a blurry look to it i think it's that i don't know what i don't remember what it's called what is it called guys when like what you're looking at depth of field depth of field yeah it's 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 blurring out stuff that's not in front of me i hate that and i don't i at least i think that's what's happening and i don't see any options to turn it off so whatever it's fine yeah, it's a little weird. Okay, well, did we get uh, three? Yes, we did. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a bed. Bed is a spawn point. The bed may not be the most comfortable acts as a respawn point for you. That's a small R, man. <laughs> that's a that's a tiny R. All right, now we got to make the pickaxe. So in my test game, I made the pickaxe first. So that was my mistake. I don't know if you can do anything with the wood to turn it into branches, or maybe you can... Maybe I can cut this tree down to get branches. My, I, I can't really tell. Yeah, I think I am. I don't know if I can actually cut this tree down. Two more. Two more swings. One more swing. Okay, to hell with it. All right, pickaxe. Where are you, buddy? There we go. And what's going to be next? Um, building plans, I think, are next. Right, I'm going to take some coconuts. And I'll wait to eat them, I guess. I really need to eat them right now. All right, so building plants. What do we need for building plants? Fiber. Good to go. And the thing after that is going to be the mallet. So I'm going to need some more wood. Go. It's weird. Sometimes when you cut down the wood, the, the trees, the, the like logs fall in the stone and you can't really loot them. Or if you can, I don't know how. All right. And let's make the mallet. Crafting a mallet. Cool, cool. It is 1230. So that's fun. Gonna put the mallet in the last spot. And let's, okay, yeah. Let's find someone. Search for survivors. I don't know what that means. We do have a map here. Um, we've got the new, oh, by the way, um, something said that, uh, I don't remember where I read it, but somewhere it said that a kraken has taken down my ship. So you, swimming out here is certain death. So we've got the caves, we've got the plague demons, and we've got question marks. I don't know where the hell to go, so I think this is uh, exploration time. Craft the mallet. Yes, got it. Let's make a building plan item. Let's make a building plan item. Building plan is needed. This plan can be used. Let's show them. Choose to type. Okay, am I supposed to be looking for someone or building? You've gathered some food. Nighty night. Um, if you install a bed... You can revive from it in the future. Okay. You can't save at night. Okay, I got it. So we should probably save the game. You found an item that can be set up. All right, the campfire. You've picked up items from the hot bar. Okay. So I'm going to make... Can I put down the bed anywhere? Or do I have to put down like foundations? Let's find out. Yep, you can put it down anywhere. Cool. All right, I'm going to look for a little... um. A little pond or something. I'd like to put this near a pond. And I think there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, but if you drink out of it, remember, if you drink out of it, <laughs> it's not going to be fun. All right. Uh, name my bed. HQ. All right. Save the game. I guess you can't sleep through the night because that wouldn't, you know, make any sense. Um, demo. Save game. I don't call it season one yet because of the demo. So, there we go. I'm going to show you one other thing. Oh, hold on. Did I crash? No. Resume. There we go. I'll show you one other thing. You see these little bushes right here? Don't walk into those. They will they will mess you up. <laughs> For real. Okay, so do we want to go find someone now? I guess so. Uh, well, let's take a look at the building plan really quick. I'm not going to build anything right now. But I will take a look at the building plan. Oh, Okay. Uh, three logs. Okay. Foundations. No, four logs for foundations. Okay, cool. All right. 
Let's keep on keeping on. Let's look around, see what we can find. Doesn't look like there's any really trails around here. We got some berries. Can I eat those or are they gonna poison me? Will it tell me? Uh, recover health, relieve hunger, and gain energy. All right, I guess I can eat them. And I'm gonna put this stuff up here because I'm not gonna need it right now. I'm gonna put the berries at number one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this does kind of look like a pathway. It's like this is like a game trail, like the animals running through here all the time. Whoa, what's over there? How close am I to the? Okay, so that looks like the cave. Over there. Is this? Open barrel. Take all. And what was this, by the way? That's um. Water jar. Okay. It restores a small amount of health and energy and relieves thirst. Cool. Sand, clay, branches, stone. Um, I do have a max weight. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. But we should be okay right now. Uh, money. I wonder if I can actually use the money because I've got 700 monies already. Spoiled meat? Okay. Um, food poisoning drops your stamina and causes thirst. I wonder if you could use it for, like, to make other things, though. Usually spoiled meat in these games, you can use them to make other things. I don't think I want to be going any farther that way. So, I'm just going to go this way, I guess. Yeah, seems good. I don't know. Maybe it's marked on my map, but I'm just not seeing it. Like, all I see is X's and question marks. I don't see anything of... Oh. Lake? Maybe I should check out that lake. Hmm, can I get through here? Yeah, I probably can. Alright, let's go back here. And let's see if we can make it to that lake. That lake looks like an interesting place. Maybe I'm supposed to go to the X's on the on the map, just kind of check them all out. And that lake might be where the person is. So we're going to come down here, we're going to go around here, then we're going to make a left. Do I make it here? Uh, damn it. Okay. Craft. Bandage. Wait, what? Two yellow flowers. Oh, I don't have the yellow. I don't have the palm leaves. Okay, whatever. Eh. If I die, I die. So we need to go this way. You need to go back and around this way. I don't want to go near that demon thing, you know? So I think I got to come down here and then hang a left. Oh, that's my bed. Awesome. Oh, okay. Wait, can't... So then that comes out to here. Can I actually go left here? I don't know. That looks like it takes me right back out to the, uh... Right back out to the ocean. So... Can I just go left along the ocean? I don't think so. Well, let's let's try. I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, looks like I can a little bit. Um, all right, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, let's try to go this way. It doesn't look very promising, but who knows? Yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to get up there. Where am I on the map? Oh, well, maybe. Let's keep going. You know, I don't know if this is the right way, and I don't really care. I'm I'm committed. <laughs> we are committed. We like, uh, let's go into first person. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything down there, even if I could dive down. So, we're just gonna come around here. I do see a beach over here, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is where I gotta go. Dead, wait, did that say dead village? <laughs> uh, yeah, it did. Okay. Wait. Was it 1800 earlier and now it's 15 or 16? I don't know. Maybe I was, maybe I was misreading. I thought it said 1800 like a, a minute or two ago, but don't know. One thing I am going to do when I get out of the water is I'm going to drink and eat these coconuts and see what that does for me. And I got to go check out the dead village. And I'm really hoping it's not obvious on that map where I'm supposed to go. I do have the berries as well, so... And let's eat. And eat again. 
And I guess we'll just keep eating. That thirst isn't looking very good. Uh, this is where I am on the map, by the way. So I, I didn't even go that far, to be honest, but whatever. We're just going to kind of go check out that dead village. Should be It should be a lot of fun. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun when I get to the dead village. Run, you fool. I am getting some uh, frame rate issues. Everything is on epic. I'm going to leave it where it is for this episode. If, um, if I decide to do another episode, I'll mess around with the graphics. Um, because, you know, I don't want to deal with the lag. Oh, this is spooky. This is spooky forest, man. I don't like this. What's with all the fog? Who's got the fog machine? Get that fog machine out of here. I'm just going to keep eating the hell of it. All right, cool. Probably should have kept some of that stuff because if I can run away from the enemies, maybe I can get my health back while I'm running away. I don't know. This is spooky AF. No joke. Is that the dead village we're coming up on? Yeah, let's check out the dead village. What could possibly go wrong? And can we open this? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Where is everybody? Uh, it's almost like they're all dead. I've learned something. The dark night is coming. The island, I'd say, uh, beautiful fairies, blah, 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 get ready. Yeah, whatever. Get ready. What am I going to do? Oh, I did get a, um, a curved sword. That's pretty nice. All right, I think I'm ready. I'm prepared. Spoiler alert, I am not prepared. Are those spoiled? Yeah, spoiled berries. So I was worried that there'd be, like, you know, dead people around here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Come on, can we, can we come in here? No? Can't go in there? Come on, man. Come on, man. I want to get in there, man. See what's up. So there's an empty uh, water jug jar. Okay. Okay. So what, what do I need for the healing items? But it said, um, palm leaves. Okay. Got it. Well, let's see if we can get some palm leaves. Well, probably getting any palm leaves here. These aren't palm trees. It'd be kind of weird if I got palm leaves here. Can I make a, uh, a torch or something? Is arrows, torch. Now, if I could hold the torch while holding my sword, that would be legit. That would be cool. Nope. Darn it. All right. It is what it is. Can't go in there. Can't go up there. So it looks like the dead village is just a little bit like a little bit of loot. I don't know when exactly the enemies come in, but it's going to be pretty soon. So I'm going to try and I'm going to try and get one of these towers. Doesn't look like I can get in that tower. Maybe the tower outside. Let's see if we can get that get in that tower over here. These are some big ass trees, man. These remind me of the trees in Green Hell. If you can get in that tower over there. I will be keeping an eye on this game moving forward. Uh, it's very early, but, you know, if they make some of the right moves and, and get some of the, you know, the, the, the lag is an issue. Obviously, it's an early access game, so it's not, yeah, I can't get in that tower. So it's not like there's anything, like, actually built up yet, but, you know, it's something to keep an eye on. I'm going to I'm gonna wishlist it and see where it goes. You know? Maybe it'll become nothing. Maybe it'll become the next big survival game. We, you know, we never know, guys. Like, when Seven Days to Die came out, like, nobody cared about it. It looked like a, a, a S show, you know? Um, when, I remember when the, the, when the original Forest came out, like, nobody really cared about it. Like, 
it was like really early access and there wasn't much in it and like they just worked hard and made it into something and then you've got other games that just get abandoned so you never know where these early access games are going to go uh the good news about this one is it's a demo so no harm no foul go. and i'm going to try my make my way up to that lake since it doesn't look like there's anywhere i can hide i probably can't and i'm just going to go up to the lake and see what's what and I need to... F let's find someone. I don't know... I don't know what that is. Um, I would just feel bad if it's something obvious. Like, if it is marked on my map and there's something obvious about it, then, you know, so be it. Uh, do I ever, ever... Yeah, the T is the journal. By the way, that um Y shows you all the the keyboard thingies. Um, oh, I can't read that. It's too dark. Okay. That's fine. Oh boy, 1900. These guys are going to be coming soon, right? All right, guys. Oh, it has all day. Get in here. Let's, let's let's do some battle. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave off the torch because I won't be able to fight with the torch anyway. So I'm going to leave the torch off and I will just brighten this up while editing. It's, it's, it's pretty dark, but it's not dark to the point where I can't brighten it up. So, and um, it would suck if I had the torch out and then... And then I didn't have the torch out, and then I had the torch out, and I did, and it would just be like, you know, lame. Uh, get up here. Oh, boy. The knight is coming after me. Can the knight come after you? Is the knight something that can come after you? I mean, I get what you're saying, but... Yay, I made it to the lake. Look at me. Let's see what's behind me. I don't know, a bunch of sounds, but, but what? Oh crap! What the hell is that? Nobody told me there was a boss up here. Oh god, he's pissed. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna. Wow, wow, I'm not even gonna get killed by the regular guys during the night. I'm gonna get killed by this guy. All right, HQ. Do I lose all my stuff? Maybe not. No, I lost all my stuff. So are they gonna find me? Are they gonna find their right here? Yep. Yeah, they are. And all I could do is punch. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's do this. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, I killed one. Punch. Wow, they're actually dying pretty easy. Maybe I could have survived this if I didn't fight the boss. Nah, probably not. I mean, if I'm punching them and they're dying. The thing is, like, is this going to be like this all night? Because like, there's no way. It looks like they're dropping stuff, too. Yeah, call me Mike Tyson. Call me Daddy. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Respawn. So, are, are they just going to keep coming, or... Can I actually beat them? Where they stop coming? I kicked his ass. Kicked his ass. Kicked his ass. Yeah, boy. Get wrecked. Wow, I'm doing really well. I mean, they're like... They're one-punch chumps, though. Oh, great. I'm bleeding. That's not good. Alright, that's fine. Now, if they're just going to keep coming all night, then I don't know what the point of this is. I'm thinking it might be a thing where you get, like, a certain amount of them. And then once you've beaten enough, you it stops. I didn't think it was going to be this doable, though. I didn't think they'd be able to get one-shotted. Or I would have I would have not gone up against that boss. Although, to be fair, I didn't know the boss was there. Is that it? No, okay, I was gonna say. So I learned a neat little trick. These uh, bushes hurt them just as much as they hurt me. And you can just kind of stand next to them. I mean, if they come from the other side, you're screwed, but um, it definitely helps take some of them out. Look at that. Oh, wow, he didn't die. Okay, I thought he would die, but I guess not. Something else going on somewhere. I can't see it. I'm gonna take some of these berries and put those right there. And six. And let's try and eat and get some hit points back. I am bleeding. 
So that kind of sucks, but I don't know, I'm just kind of standing here. Everything seems to be okay right now. They have dropped some things that I've looted. They dropped a gold ore and faded gems and pistol ammo. And that might be it. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to pick some of these berries. It sounds almost like they're stuck on something. So, guys, if you're going to fight during the night, um, this seems to be a pretty good spot. I don't know what's going on over there. I can't even see. Like, I hear something, but I don't see what's going on. So, I'm just going to eat the berries and wait for the sun to come up. And they started coming in again. And I'm just kind of up here, just trying to live. I lived through the bleeding. But now they're coming in. I'm in first person here. So, we just got to kind of, you know, try our best. Probably going to die again, but that's all right. There we go. And punch you. Punch you. Punch you. Oh, come on. Come on. Damn it. There you go. Yeah, they got me. Okay. I figured I would die again. I'm just going to keep respawning now. I'm not going to, like, stay. I guess I could stay dead. I wonder if timer, if the timer goes through as you're dead. I don't know. I'm bleeding again? Man, he didn't even do anything to me. He didn't even look like he swung. The bleeding's the worst. Because there ain't nothing you can do about it. Well, at least there's nothing I can do about it in this position. Okay, 7 o'clock in the morning. They all go away. And there we go. A couple gems and stuff. Not too much Not too much crazy loot. I don't know, maybe that stuff's like really good for something. I don't know. But, yeah, that's what we got. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, <laughs> take it easy.